Before I begin, I ask for your help so more people can see this channel and my work. Please take a moment to give me a thumbs up and a comment, even if the comment is just to say hello, which will help others like you find this video. I'm overthinking everything now, and my mind is racing a million different directions. I keep asking myself, how can she be loyal if she's willing to do that? It feels like a betrayal just talking about it. We've had similar discussions before, and she knows how much this kind of talk drives me crazy. Welcome to the Holland Halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of the keys to today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. In today's video, I have a letter from a viewer who's asking my advice. But before embarking on an expedition to the vast collections of life's lessons and bad choices, demonstrate your eagerness with a thumbs up, subscribe, smack that bell, and be instantly notified of new videos. So stow your baggage of doubts, grab a ticket to success, and let's begin the journey. Dear Magic, I'm feeling pretty lost and confused right now, and I could really use some advice. I'm Miles, a 25-year-old guy, and my girlfriend, Aria, 22, recently said something that's been messing with my head. We've been arguing a lot lately, and during one of our arguments, things took a strange turn. She mentioned that she'd be happy to sell her body for 250 with other men and or women, even while in a relationship with me. She said it would help us save money for our future, but I can't help thinking about it's cheating. Slap to the back of the head. Duh, it is cheating. And guys, don't buy into it. It's just business and it's not the same bull crap. Other guys are sticking their D in your girl. The mental gymnastics they do to justify it or shame you by attacking your manhood is merely semantics. This is seriously bothering me, as it should. She knows saying stuff like this would get under my skin. A wake up slap to the back of the head, dude. If you're involved with a woman who does this crap like this just to get under your skin in an argument, newsflash, not only is she manipulative and manipulating you by trying to keep you off balance, but she is deliberately and maliciously toxic as well. This behavior alone, I'm telling you to run now. Pay attention here, guys. We left the saying she has poor communication skills two states back. This is pure malevolent intent. She knows saying stuff like this would get under my skin. I'm overthinking everything now, and my mind is racing a million different directions. I keep asking myself, how can she be loyal if she's willing to do that? It feels like a betrayal just talking about it. We had similar discussions before, and she knows how much this kind of talk drives me crazy. Okay, brother, she is literally getting off on not only the drama, but your psychological emasculation. Guys, pay attention here. This is yet one of a dozen techniques women use to emotionally and psychologically break you down into a state of habitual compliance, otherwise known as becoming P-whipped. Lately, I've started to notice some small changes in her behavior that have made me even more suspicious. She's been more secretive with her phone, often stepping out of the room to take calls or to reply to messages. 
She also started dressing up more when she goes out, even if it's just to run errands. I've noticed that she's been spending more time away from home claiming she's with friends or working late, but something just doesn't feel right. Really? Trust your gut. You know what's going on, I know what's going on, and so does every aware viewer watching this right now. Her attack on your masculine center didn't just start. She's been at this for a while. How do I know? Easy. Your sense of self is so damaged that you are questioning what your own eyes, your gut, and masculine instincts are screaming at you. And for that, wake up slap to the back of the head. I've read about these kinds of changes being common with women who might be cheating or trying to hide something, like being involved in S-work. It's these subtle habits that are driving me crazy. I'm starting to suspect that she might already be doing what she mentioned during our argument, and it's tearing me apart inside. I'm not sure how to react or what to say. Is it fair to think of her as untrustworthy or worse? Slap to the back of the head. Absolutely. I'm going with or worse. This has been on my mind nonstop, and I need some guidance. What should I do? How do I talk to her about this without making things worse? And most importantly, where does this leave us in terms of loyalty and trust? Thanks for listening, and I appreciate the advice you give. First off, thank you for sharing and writing in, and I'm sorry this has happened to you, my brother. Now, here's the important part. You ready? End this now. You can't turn a garden hoe into a housewife. She is manipulative, deceitful, and destructive to your self-esteem. Cut her out like an oncologist cuts out a cancer. Then you need to get into motion to help control your emotions. Work out. Take up a martial art, go to a boxing gym, and begin the path back to a well-centered and masculine frame. A frame which you have completely lost. You have to find a male therapist and look into why you were attracted to a woman like this in the first place and fix it. Until you do, absolutely no dating. Even if she wasn't a conniving, manipulative, what you would call a female dog, your chances of a successful long-term relationship or marriage with her would have been, in my not so humble opinion, well, you would have had a better set of odds at a Vegas blackjack table as a card counter and not getting caught. Lesson time here, guys. Pay attention. Here is why it mostly would not have worked. A 2015 study revisiting the promiscuity bonding hypothesis found that women with higher numbers of S-word partners reported lower levels of emotional and romantic bonding with their current partners. This decreased bonding could impact the stability and satisfaction of long-term relationships. The role of oxytocin, a hormone associated with social bonding, is also relevant. Ruth Feldman's 2012 study, The Role of Oxytocin in Female Bonding and Pair Bonding, indicated that higher oxytocin levels contribute to secure attachments and higher relationship satisfaction. Similarly, Wiseman, a 2018 study on voles oxytocin and the transition from promiscuity to monogamy demonstrated that oxytocin facilitates the transition from promiscuity to monogamy, establishing pair bonds. I will put these studies in the description in the video and thank you for writing in. 
In the comments section, give this brother your advice and support. He desperately needs it. If you found value in this video, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and share this with at least three friends who really need to learn from this channel. If you didn't like this video, then I thank you for watching this long and for stopping by. May I suggest you check out my other videos and find something you do like. Send me your personal relationship stories as this gentleman just did to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the link to stories at magicsmonologue.com. This is the way others can learn from your victories, joys, and defeats as we work to not only support each other, but to help each other become better men. This is the best way to help this channel grow and support me. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys or subscribe to my Locals, Rumble, Twitter, Getter, and Gab. Through this, you are leading by example, encouraging other men to rise higher and ensuring you live a life of passion, purpose, and prosperity. Until next time. Thank you for watching. Before you run off, check out these videos, then give them a thumbs up, a comment. This tells the algorithm to share my videos with more people, and this support helps me make more content for you.